Okay, so um, one of the MMORPGs that I play on a regular basis, Final Fantasy XIV, is getting an expansion. So I thought we'd take a look at the trailer. Um, I've, I've watched it before, but I'm going to give my little commentary on it. I I had done this when it first came out, but I wanted to um, do a little video where I... Um, we basically watch it together, and I basically get my thoughts on it. I have not played the latest content yet, because I'm replaying the game as a new character right now. I've got an older character that I've got to move her over to a different server so that she can be in the same free company as the character I'm playing now. And she's a much more uh, far-on character. She's like level 80. Um, so I'd be able to do some of that last content in the last few patches that just came out so I'll be able to run through that uh, with that character but I'm having a lot of fun just taking my time you know replaying the content for the game with uh, Momo my um my Lollafell and my main character is Pinata which is a aura but uh let's get on watch this trailer of uh, let us get in here. Take a look at this. The moon. Already liking the music. Soken is like a god when it comes to this. He's He's basically taken up uh, Uematsu's position in Square Enix. Uh, Derplander. The, he sort of symbolizes the warrior of light in these expansions. Square's gotten really creative when it comes to showing their logo in these trailers. But he's definitely walking on the moon. The final days were upon us. The fabric of the star had begun to fray. Its lands rent by tooth and claw. I am wondering, is this... Oh, Alice. She switched to Red Mage in the last expansion. Kicking butt as usual. Uh oh. And here we are to save the day. Yeah, that's a paladin move. And here's Alphanod in his new class. I want to see that in action in game. Oh, what do you seem like she is? Those are not dragons, they're something else. I've seen them before. Oh, I recognize this guy from the end of uh, Shadowbringers. This has a very HR Geiger sort of look to the place. Um, that don't look good. Xenos, he's not as, um... Xenos is not as compelling a villain as Emmett Selch. Emmett Selch was awesome. This is definitely... Paladin gear. We are going to the moon, so... This will have a very Final Fantasy IV sort of theme to it. That wedge, a ship, so it's the lunar whale, and it's coming out in the fall. So, uh, that's the trailer. Let's let's go through here and take a look at some of this stuff here. Oh, we got Alice A here kicking butt. She's seen a lot of character development in Shadowbringers, uh, quite a bit. Um, I think her her 
character development has probably been bigger than Alphanod in a way. Alphanod's his his happened pretty early on. He he also had some development in Shadowbringers too, a lot of it. Mm, showing a little bit of butt. Her still kicking butt. I'm gonna get a uh I want to get a good look here. Yeah, here we got a good look at the weapons for the sage. Uh these are controlled by the um the jobs aether. And they can fly around, they can swarm and shoot targets like let's watch what they're doing here. Went back a little too far. That's alright. Yeah, she gets into trouble. And I say biting off more than she can chew, yeah, that's that's still her. Here they come. Yeah, that's that's advanced back a little bit. Oh, I'm going forward. I want to go back. All right, so they line up on the back right there and fly around and uh, there was the video for uh, the reveal of the sage class which is a going to be a defensive healer um, a shielding healer there's going they're going to differentiate between the two different type of healer classes pure healer like white mage which is what my character momo is and a shielding hero um, healer which is what scholar is currently right now but they're going to be changing that in the future so he's going to be a shielding he um, healer and what that means is you can do more of damage mitigation more than you are pure healing so you'll be able to do things that will um protect people from taking as much damage than they normally would so it's going to be an interesting, interesting look. All right. Uh, we get another good look at uh, Alfie launching these things. And what is this place? Oh, he's looking at something. He's looking at fire. Definitely here. Is this a flaming diorama or it's it's something else something's definitely going on now at the presentation and look here before i go on this is definitely this is definitely hr geiger inspired right here i mean just look at this i mean it's very hr geiger inspired And he's going up, and he's going here somewhere. Xenos is probably right there on that throne, watching in, watching the world burn. That's that's Xenos. Let's go back here a little bit. So, what's this place? I have an idea what this is. Uh, we saw some. Um, at the presentation with uh, Yoshi P and Koji Fox, they uh, showed us an image of Garlemald or what it what Garlemald will look like when we go there. Because we are this time in this expansion, we are going to Garlemald as one of the locations, and the place looked like it was nuked. And so I think this this is Garlemald. At least this is what's left of it. Um, yeah, um, the Empire, I don't think is going to be much of a problem anymore. Uh, and so we're going there to basically clean things up, most likely. This looks bad. This looks very bad. 
Garnemald's gone. Garnemald's gone to hell. And we are definitely going to the moon. So that's definitely um, a tie-in to Final Fantasy IV. Which means we're going to encounter stuff like Anima and all the things that we encountered on the moon in that game. It's been so long since I played IV. I don't remember everything that happened there, but some significant stuff did take place. And I find it interesting how Derplander here, he's now a paladin. He was a dark knight in the, uh, in the last game. Which is also another nod to Final Fantasy IV, because Cecil was a dark knight. And then he became a paladin later, or... or they didn't call it that in Final Fantasy IV, but that's what he became. He became a paladin. And so this is yet another nod towards Final Fantasy IV. And this is definitely this is definitely paladin gear right here. So paladin is a uh, tank. And it's uh, a heal tank, basically. A tank that's capable of healing and damage mitigation uh, abilities. So he's... They're definitely going with this, going with this theme. I mean, he's got the same face as Ardbert from Shadowbringers, and this guy in the trailers represents the Warrior of Light. It gives you the theme of what your, what your character is going to be. I mean, you were sort of a villain of Shadowbringers. I mean, if if you look at it from the point of view of the Asians, the Warrior of Light was the villain. I mean, they were trying to save their world, and we were stopping them. And so, in a way, it made you the villain in, uh, from a certain point of view. And now you're going to become Paladin, or you're going to be the hero again. And this time, we're going to be saving the source. Alrighty then. One other thing also in the presentation is that um, this Endwalker will be the conclusion to the entire Heidelin Zodiac storyline. The whole thing that started with two point from the beginning of 2.0 till now this will be the conclusion of the entire story. The whole ending. They're not going to continue it in extra content afterwards. You know, there will be extra content afterwards. There will be future expansions. There will be more patches with new story. But the Hydaelyn Zodiac story arc ends with Endwalker. This is the final chapter to that story between those two characters. If you if you played or you know anything of the story of Shadowbringers, you learned that they were the first primals, the most ancient and most powerful of all primals. And I think the moon the moon here represents Zodiac. And the planet represents Heidelin. Oh, I don't know how it's going to play out here. Uh, exactly what's going to happen on the moon. As I said, I they're very much leaning towards Final Fantasy IV here. Now, for the way this, way this looks right here, I would say that thing that... Um, Xenos was in, it's probably the ship. This was probably built by the, um, this was most likely built by Garlemald for some reason. This might be a Garlemald built design. It's possible. I don't know. I'm speculating. Some people have been making a big deal about this hole in the moon, what it might be. Could it be a weapon? Could it be where Anima is? Uh, is this where the big baddies at? 
or where anima or, or, or where um um zodiac is as i don't know they just say they they did say that there will be an atmosphere on the moon so you don't have to worry about um any kind of gear for breathing on the moon there will be air um, or they might do something like um, what they did in Stormblood, you know, where they gave you the ability to breathe underwater with um, with that uh, magic spell placed on you. Alice has that spell on her, so she can breathe underwater too, as, as well as Lise. Lise was with you in that at that time. So the Warrior of Light, Alice and Lise can breathe underwater. No one else can. No, no, no. Um, the others, the other scions gained the ability to do it. They did. Alright, so... This is coming out in the fall of this year. It, um... Normally it would come out earlier, but because of the whole, um... Human malware thing that was delayed. So we're not going to be getting it until the fall. When in the fall? I don't know. I, I don't know the exact date of when it's going to be. We're going to hear about that from the Fan Fest. Um, the fan Fest is going to happen worldwide. It's going to be before the launch of the expansion. So I think I think it's going to be like in May or June. What they're going to do? They're going to. It's going to be a digital event instead of a um, one where you convention you go to. I hope this whole thing just ends. This whole crap ends so that we can get back to going to cons and stuff like this. Because I haven't been to one. And I've been wanting to go to one. There have been some anime cons that happen here in Texas that I've been wanting to go to, and now with this crap happening, um, all those have been shut down and or, or turned into digital events, and that needs to stop so that we can get back to our lives. But, um, yeah, we're going to learn more um, later on at the Fan Fest. So that should be um, somewhere around, as I said, May or June. I know that the next patch will be coming somewhere around that time. And that's also when they're going to be doing the... Continue on. That's also when they're going to be doing the, um, the free beta for... Um, the PS5 version of the game. The PS5 version will have, you know, the, the the fast loading from the SSD, so that when you transition from one place to another, if you teleport or you zone, it'll be a lot faster. I mean, I I play I play this game on an SSD on my PC, and it already loads pretty quickly. And it's it, this game is not heavy on system resources. I mean, I'm, I've got all the settings maxed out and I get over 100 FPS. The only time I ever dip down towards 60 or lower is when there's a lot of people on screen. Like, if I go to Limsa Liminsa, where there's almost always tons of people, my frame rate might drop down to 60, maybe 50 from time to time. But after but beyond that, I'm like way over a hundred, and my screen is limited in sixty because it's a TV. But I get way over a hundred FPS, and I've got this game maxed. I mean, absolutely maxed settings. So that was the uh, trailer for Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker. I am really looking forward to this. Uh, I really want to see what's going to happen. I'm. I'm going to have to get through the content. I, as I said, I'm... I am not in a hurry to get through everything. Just to get to this... Get to this quickly. I've got time. I have time. And I don't want to rush it. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. 
this trailer with me and going through um, you know what I uh, think of it. I don't know the whole story leading up. Uh, there's still more. There's still more story content coming with the next with the next patch. And so I I have no idea what's going. On. I don't know why what's causing this disaster. Although I have I have some theories, which I won't share yet. But I have some idea of what's going on. Anyway, I am the professor, and thanks for watching.